Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce nominative personal pronouns. A personal pronoun is a word that can substitute for a person or a noun. In English, personal pronouns are determined by the number and person of the word they replace. The personal pronouns in English are I, first person singular, you, second person singular, he, she, it, third person singular, we, first person plural, y'all, second person plural, a dialect form found in Southern American English, and they, third person plural. I will explain the nominative case in a later presentation. When teaching German personal pronouns, I like to introduce them as actors on a stage. The first person to appear on the stage is ich, I, the first person singular personal pronoun. Another actor appears on the stage, whom I would directly address as du, you. This second person singular personal pronoun is the informal form of address that can only be used with deity, family and relatives, close friends, young children, and pets. Yet another actor appears on the stage. I don't talk directly to this actor, but I can talk about him or her with the second actor. The third person singular personal pronouns, er, sie, es, he, she, it, can be used to indicate the biological gender of the noun they replace. As I will show at the end of this presentation, in German they could also indicate the grammatical gender of the noun. We can also apply the concept of actors on the stage to the plural personal pronouns. The first group of actors to appear on the stage is wir, we, the first person plural personal pronoun. Another group of actors appears on the stage, which we would collectively address as ihr, y'all. Again, this is the informal form of address and should only be used with groups of close friends, relatives, young children, and pets. The final group to appear on the stage is a group of actors that are separate from the first two groups. We would therefore refer to these actors as sie, they. Before we go any further, it is important to note that German has a formal form of address, sie, you sir or you ma'am, which is used with strangers, business associates, acquaintances, and situations outside of the family. As you see on the screen, there are both singular and plural second person forms of this personal pronoun. Both forms are capitalized. Let's now apply what we learned about personal pronouns to German nouns. You will recall from the presentation on German nouns that the grammatical gender of a noun is seen in this definite article. Der indicates a masculine noun, die a feminine noun, and das a neuter noun. There is also a definite article, die, for plural nouns. In German, we can replace nouns with third person singular and plural personal pronouns. In the case of singular personal pronouns, this substitution can be based on the biological gender of the noun. For instance, in the sentence you see on the screen, die Frau ist schön, the woman is beautiful, the feminine noun Frau can be replaced by the third person singular feminine personal pronoun sie, she. This makes sense as the substitution is based on biological gender. German also makes substitutions based on the grammatical gender of the noun. For instance, in the sentence you see on the screen, der Tisch ist braun, the table is brown, the masculine noun Tisch can be replaced by the third person singular masculine personal pronoun Er, he. Or the feminine noun Blume in Die Blume ist schön, the flower is beautiful, can be replaced by the third person singular feminine personal pronoun Sie, she. And the neuter noun Auto in Das Auto ist schnell, the car is fast, can be replaced by the third person singular neuter personal pronoun S it. The main point is to pay close attention to the grammatical gender of the noun when replacing it with a pronoun. This can sometimes be tricky for native speakers of English. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.